Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Prota and today I'm going to be showing you how to balance audio properly in Sony Vegas. So audio is 50% of the outcome and if it's not up to scratch, people are most likely to click off. Before we start, it's just going to be a commentary on how to balance audio properly and not how to make it sound better with effects or tips and tricks. I can make a video on how to get a better commentary in the future if you guys want. Also, the reason I'm not making a tutorial on how to achieve this with the Elgato software is because it depends on the mic, your window settings, your in-game audio, and your sound settings, etc. So for now, we'll just stick with the most common form, and that's separate tracks in Sony Vegas. So to start off, this is what terribly balanced audio sounds like in a normal YouTube video. Hey guys, what is going on? This is Proto, and I'm just going to be talking about some random stuff to tell you how not to balance audio. Hey guys, what is going on? This is Proto, and I'm just going to be talking about some random stuff to tell you how not to balance audio. So yeah, that might have even made you cringe, and it's really not what we want. In either version, the voice audio was too high or too low, and it just absolutely destroys what would otherwise be a good commentary. Alternatively, this is what we're looking for. Hey guys, Proto here, and this is how you should absolutely balance your audio. As you can see, that sounded much better since the fidelity of the sound wasn't lost in the gunfire. It basically means that you could hear me clearly, and that's what you should be focusing on since the gameplay is only an add-on to the commentary. So I'm just going to start by saying that with the Elgato, I always have my game audio set to minus 8 decibels when I export general footage, as it's not too loud when I go over it in a media player. This is only preference though, and you don't actually have to do it. Also, if you're going to edit, I highly suggest you click the export to separate files if you use the live com feature as well. I also normally do minus 18 decibels for live commentary on the gameplay, but those figures will change depending on your microphone, etc. Ok, so I've got Vegas open and loaded these files into it. The intro, outro, gameplay, gameplay audio, music and voiceover. Right now I'm just going to play it back. If you notice these red bars, it's where the audio is too loud and that's where it's clipping. Always, always, always avoid these. I'm not sure how often I have to say this, but always make sure there isn't any clipping as it completely destroys the audio. So the way I do it is I label all of my audio tracks with their appropriate names and then go into view, window layouts and then audio mixing. Remember sound balance should be one of the last things you do to your edit but in my experience before colour correction, not that it matters, it just makes my life easier. So since we're in audio mixing you should see all of your tracks along with the master volume. These sliders control the volume of each track or in terms of the master one the whole composition. Just to point out the whole audio should be around minus 12 to minus 9 decibels. So just to decide for this tutorial, I'm going to go with minus 12 decibels. To start by getting the intro on its own, you can do this by soloing the track and make it play and lower the slider until it's an average of minus 12. This will vary depending on the volume of your intro. Then unsolo it and do the same for the outro. Quick note on the outro, I like to have it normally 5 decibels quieter than the whole composition. So in this case, with the average of minus 12, it's going to be minus 17. Now we're going to do the main tracks. Start by soloing the voiceover and make it somewhat around minus 15 decibels which normally works for me. This leaves some space for the music and gameplay. As you can see I've lowered the audio by minus 9 decibels as shown here. Music I always have set to around minus 36 decibels and lowered by about minus 30.7, but that'll vary. Lastly we've got the gameplay, this should be around minus 36 decibels as well but at its peak. If you've reduced it in the Elgato software to minus 8 decibels, in Sony Vegas you should reduce it by another minus 24, and that should work. Ok so I'm just going to say it again, I can almost guarantee you that these settings won't work for you and that's because there are so many variables to consider when doing this. So just take it with a grain of salt, the techniques that I'm showing you can be applied to get the balance right. In terms of audio you want to make sure that the majority of it is your voice and only a portion of it is your music and gameplay to the point where it goes the voiceover is greater than the gameplay audio which is greater than the music. Lastly we have audio envelopes, these basically allow you to adjust the audio of the track throughout the video. I mainly use this for music if it gets too loud so I can balance it myself. For example, the section of this music is too low so what I want to do is click on the audio track and either press shift V or right click, insert or remove envelope and select volume. You should notice a blue purplish line. If you move it up it raises the volume and if you move it down it lowers it. Because I only want to raise a section of it I'm going to make two points just before it and two after it by double clicking on the line. As you can see this allows you to increase the volume of the selected area by itself. The reason you have to add two points is because otherwise it won't function like you want it to, because you haven't defined it really, and just like keyframes if you're familiar with that. Also you can make it blend better by right clicking on the portion and selecting your fade option. I normally go with smooth. As for tips, I normally use the audio meter for the overall volume and fine tuning and then use my headphones to see if one track is too quiet. 
in comparison to the other. Don't ever use your headphones alone to determine the volume since it's just not accurate enough. So that's it guys, hope you have enjoyed. This was a comprehensive list on how to balance audio in Sony Vegas. Remember that just nailing the audio balance makes the commentary that much better. So anyways, see you guys there, and as always, have a chill one. This has been your boy Proto, and I'm out. Peace.